Okay, how to evaluate a logarithmic equation. Um, this is if you have just started with logarithms and you're kind of taking your first baby steps into this beautiful concept of logarithms. Uh, so, again, back to the definition of a logarithm. So, log base b at x equals y. So, you can write it. You know your parts, this is your base, uh, this is your exponent, and this is the answer to that exponent. So again, b to the y equals x. And again, we're going in this direction, b to the y equals x. So. That's how you convert from a logarithm to an exponent. So keeping that in mind, that's what you use to solve a logarithmic equation. So let's say I gave you the common log, which is log of 1 million. I don't know. Just come up with something here. Okay, common log, if there is no base number, you can put a 10 there. So log base 10 of 1 million. And the step you do to solve this is you um, set it equal to x. That's what we want to find out is what does this logarithm equal. And these are the, you know, eventually you're going to get some bases that are kind of nasty. Um, that's not this video. This video is your very first attempt at solving logarithmic equations. So maybe down the road I'll have some videos on when they get nasty. So this would be 10 to the x equals 1 million. Well, now it's just a matter of um, 10 to what power will give you 1 million? Well, if you plug in a 6 there, 10 to the 6th power is indeed 1 million. So I know x equals 6, or in our case, log 1 million. equals 6. So you can test that out. Hit log 1 million in your calculator. It'll produce a 6. So there's an example. So if you think you've got this figured out, here's another example. Huh. Why I use a capital L, I have no idea. So log um, base 2 of 32. Okay, so if you think you got it figured out, hit stop. Try this problem. And then hit play and see if it see if what you did is right. So first step I do again set that equal to x, then convert it to an exponent. Two to the x equals thirty-two, and again how I'm doing that two to the x equals thirty-two. And uh, so now we just need to figure out what value of x um, two to what power gives you thirty-two. Well. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. So 2 to the 5th power is indeed 32. So therefore, those little triangle symbols for therefore, x is 5. Or log base 2 of 32 equals 5. Okay, so that's that part. Uh, let's keep going. Let's give you another example. Let's give you a really hard one here. So log base 0.5 equals 32. Okay, log base 0.5 equals 32. So give yourself a shot at this. Hit stop. Give it a try. Set up your equation. Okay, here it goes. Oh my gosh, I screwed it up. <laughs> Getting late. I apologize. That's a weird one. Log base 0.5 of 32. Shoo, stop, come back. Here you go. This one's correct. So log base 0.5 of 32. I don't want to make them, well, that last one was impossible. Anyway, now you can hit stop and try it out. 
Um, here we go. So again, set it equal to x. 0.5 to the x power equals 32. And so therefore, 0.5 to the x equals 32. Uh, maybe this would help you out. 1 half is 0.5 to the x power is 32. So what value of x gives you 32? Now, this one's a little trickier because it involves negative exponents. We already know that 2 to the 5th power is 32 because that'd be 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. Um, but if you have a negative exponent, see we need to end up with this one half becoming a two to the fifth. Well, you do that with a negative exponent. So one half to the negative five equals 32. And again, if you don't understand negative exponents, it would be a good idea to kind of look those up. Um, you know, uh, maybe I have a video, maybe I don't. I'm sure there are 10 million of them on YouTube. Who knows how many there are. So negative exponent. Um, one half to the negative fifth power does produce 32. And so in our case, x is negative 5, or log 0.5 of 32 equals negative 5. There you go. One more example that also involves negative exponents. So give this one a shot. Log 10 of 1, uh, well, let's go with 1 over. 10,000. So go ahead and hit pause and uh, let's see what this thing's equal to. All right, well, again, I'll set this equal to x. Again, this is the common logarithm, so you could have went, just wrote it as log of 1 over 10,000. But again, 10 to the x equals 1. Not 1, but 10 to the x equals 1 over 10,000. There we go. And, uh, right, what value of x gives me that? Well, 10 to the 4th is 10,000. Because there's four zeros. Or 10 to, you know, you could expand it out. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. It gives you 10,000. But it's a 1 over 10,000. So, again, that's a negative exponent. So, 10 to the negative 4th is 1 over 10,000. So in our case, the natural log of 1 ten thousandths is negative 4. And so if you don't believe me, I guess give it a shot. You can just type that one straight into your calculator. It'll spit it out for you. So hope this helps. Again, these are very basic equations. If you need, you know, if, if you need something to go beyond, that's later on. I don't quite have I don't have that video made yet actually. I probably have one somewhere but I'd probably need to make a new one. So, best of luck on your first steps into logarithmic equations. See you next time.